What is going on guys, Apple Foxy here, back again with another video. So what I'm going to be talking about in this video are the most useful features in iOS 11. So you probably know that iOS 11 offers tons of great and new stuff, but not every single of them is necessarily useful. So as I said, this video is about the new features that will help you in your everyday life. I'm focusing on the things that are not only new, but also useful. So let's get started. Now the first thing has to be the dark mode, or at least something we call dark mode even if it's not completely it. And it's of course a smart invert. So the regular inverted colors filter inverts every color. Everything turns into something weird and the home screen looks like a negative picture. The smart invert, unlike this one, only turns white into black in order for your eyes to be saved from all of the bright light. Except for the pictures. So every picture stays the same, it doesn't have the colors inverted. It's a great feature, but it definitely needs some refinements. I mean, it tries to do the same as the dark mode, but it fails many times. Just take a look at the weather app. Everything looks there really ugly because the colors are swapped. One thing that isn't swapped are the forecast signs that look normal. Now, the second very useful feature is native screen recording. I already made some videos about how to get some third-party screen recorders outside the App Store because Apple wouldn't allow developers to create this type of apps. Now looks like I won't need to make a video like this anymore. In the control center, there is a new icon that starts to record the screen when you click on it. You're gonna get a blue bar on the top of the screen just to inform you that the screen is being recorded. There is also an option to choose if you want the audio of the environment to be part of the recording. Once it's finished, it is saved to the camera roll as a usual video. It's a great feature because sometimes a simple screenshot is not enough if you want to show something to a friend. And because it's a native feature built into the iOS, it means it won't stop working after a while like the third-party apps. Do not disturb while driving. Well, this is another new feature Apple introduced in iOS 11. Well, we already had do not disturb earlier, but it was only meant to be used during night and when you don't want to be disturbed. But this feature is made specifically for drivers. So it's focused on blocking calls when driving. There are actually three ways of how this feature can work. You can either turn it on manually by clicking on the icon in the control center when you hop inside the car, or you can make it turn on automatically when the iPhone connects to the car Bluetooth system, so it knows you're in a car and that you shouldn't be disturbed. And the last option is to make the iPhone find out that you're driving based on detected motion, meaning it knows you cannot walk that fast and that you're probably driving. What can also be set up in terms of this feature is basically the automatic reply when someone calls you. You already have there the sentence where it stands that you cannot answer right now and that you'll see it when you arrive at the destination. Another very useful one is called Emergency SOS. This is again something we have seen already in previous versions of iOS 10, but the catch was that this feature was only available in India for some reason. For me, it's still unclear like why only India, but anyways, now it works everywhere. So in the settings, you just have to enable auto call and also the countdown sound if you want to. So what it basically does is that in an emergency situation, you just press the power button five times and the emergency call is going on. Doesn't matter where you are at the moment, it always calls the emergency services in the area around you. Hopefully you will never have to use this feature, but it's not a bad idea to have it set up. And the last on my list is actually a new function of Siri. Well, Siri has received a number of changes and improvements, but my favorite has to be the translating feature. So now you can ask Siri to tell you how something is called in another language. For example, how to say hello in Spanish or any other language-based questions. So that is the end. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have some favorite, cool, and useful features of iOS 11, just let me know about them down in the comment section. Make sure to click the subscribe button for more videos. Have a great day and see you next time. Peace.